Hey guys, Keith from Kegland, and today we've got a new product. It's a really simple device and not expensive. It's on our website now, which is our word spreader, our sparging device and aerator. So it can be used when you're mashing in, when you first basically put that malt pipe down and you wanna basically make sure that wort is recirculating but not channeling through your malt pipe. So this device will basically spread the wort over the top of the malt pipe. Of course, you can also use it for sparging too. So when you pull that malt pipe up and then you're sparging that uh, malt pipe, you can basically run your hot water through here and then that'll spread and sprinkle that sparge water over the top of the malt pipe. Um, lastly, it can also be used inside your fermenter. So when you're pumping wort from your boiler through your chiller and then into a fermenter, you can use this device. Now, the beauty about this particular device is it works on very low um, you know, pump powers and pump volumes. So you know, on these small breweries, for instance, this device is perfect. It still can be used on larger breweries as well. So even if you've got you know, a large 500 watt pump, this will still work and it will spread out as a big fan out to the side. But I'm gonna show you a video of how this works on the small Brazilla 35 unit, and then you can see how that applies to the other breweries as well. All right, let's get into the video and I'll show you how this bad boy works. So some of you guys might be wondering why have we get, got this really long half inch thread here and the reason for that is so you can basically mount it to lids as well. So this is on a Brazil lid for instance but of course if you've got pretty much any brewery you can drill a you know 22 mil hole or a 21 mil hole through the lid of the brewery and then use a couple of these half inch nuts and mount it to a lid like so. The other reason why the thread is long so is so you've got a little bit of height adjustment as well. So what you could do is basically undo this nut here and then you could basically twist this in or out like so and then you know basically set the height with inside your boiler or malt pipe, uh, malt pipe or mash tun for instance to you know uh, increase the height and put it up or down if you need, need to. So this is the typical type of setup with the Brazilla Gen 4. Now, with all of these sort of single vessel breweries, they have like some type of recirculation arm that comes up like this. Now, of course, if I just have the recirculation arm and a bit of silicon tube going straight into the malt pipe here, you know, you can have that high velocity where it kind of channels through the malt pipe and then you may not get, you know, you know the perfect or full conversion uh, and you may not extract all the sugars out of those grains that are in here. So typically what we have done in the past is give you this screen here. So this screen would sit on top, this is the top screen, and basically as the wort or water would basically hit this screen, it would kind of spread out over the screen and kind of diffuse that wort as it goes into the malt pipe. Now that's great, but one of the problems with the screen I guess is then you can't use the spoon and stir in the you know malt or let's say for instance you've got a bit of a stuck mash you need to stir a bit more then you have to pull this screen back up and that can be a bit of annoying so of course this device uh, you know kind of solves both of those problems in the sense that you don't have to use the top screen but then you can still spread out the uh, wort over the malt and then make sure you don't get that channeling issue so to set it up I'm just going to push this onto the barb of the recirculation arm like that so pretty simple nothing complicated about this setup recirculation arm silicon tube and then this device here and as you can see if I turn this on you know I'm getting that nice fan effect and it's just sort of spreading out over the top there and giving you that kind of nice shower, gentle shower effect. So it's not gonna channel through and it's gonna spread that liquid all over the top. Now, of course, for recirculation, it's great. And then the other thing is, if you're gonna pump your water, your sparge water over the top and do a fly sparge or something, you know, it's ideal for that too. Now this device can be used also for aeration as well, as said before. So if you're aerating, obviously I've got my chilled wort inside the Brazilla Gen 4 here, and then I've got this, uh, you know, this flexi arm. So flexi arm is really my preferred option. Obviously you could still use the this arm as well if you had the right piece of silicon, but I kind of like the flexi arm in the sense that you kind of bend it into the position you want pretty easily, and it just sort of kind of stays there. So as you can see, if I turn this on, um, I've basically got, you know, generally you would probably run through some type of chiller or something like that. And then I would have the wort to come into the fermenter. And as you can see, it's aerating as it's landing in there. So, you know, that's really great, especially if you're making a high gravity beer or a beer which needs a lot of oxygen. This is a pretty good idea. So the, the yeast is gonna get off to a cracking head start. Well, that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed using this really simple device. I think there's gonna be a lot of people using this in brewing, but I'm sure it's useful in a lot of other applications too. We already had like an aquarium store come up to us and ask us if they could put this in their fish tank to aerate or aquaponics or something like that. So I'm sure there's a lot of other applications where this could be used. 
but if you've got a great idea of how you can use it as well, put it in the comments below, and of course, subscribe to the video. Hit subscribe now, it really helps us a lot, it doesn't cost you anything, and you'll keep up to date with all our new product releases. So bottom right hand corner, hit subscribe, and join our Facebook Homebrew Community Group. So go onto Facebook, search Kegland Homebrew Community Group, and join that one too. All right, that's it, and see you guys next time. Bye.